hi guys welcome back to my channel it's a girl chinchilla if i look a little bit different it's because i'm using my phone to record this video i was gonna use my camera but it gave me too much problem first of all before i even jump into the video i live in new york city and yes people bust fireworks in at the daytime <laughs> don't ask me why but them do it so when i probably like, gonna hear some fireworks in the background when i go hear some fun a blow the window open when i go hear some cars a pass some horns blowing you don't know new york style i'm gonna ask you a quick favor before you start watching the video please to click the subscribe button subscribe to my channel i'm trying to reach 5,000 subscribers so please subscribe to my channel you don't have to like the video to thumbs it up thumbs up the video leave your comments i'd like to hear you guys' feedback i always respond so turn on your post notification if you're interested in seeing whenever i upload a video youtube will notify you sometimes they don't but yeah just turn it on but i know why when they here or not come here if you hear the story about me being locked up abroad yes this is a true story i wasn't going to tell it maybe that's why i may have all sort of technical difficulties but them could have deal to the devil never tell that story yeah. so if you want to hear what happened then continue watching the video I ask Christ I ask Christ I'm kind of not I'm kind of not at all okay guys so when I was a little young I think I was about 20 or uh, in my early 20s let me close this girl so when I was a little young star, this whole thing happened while I was in Jamaica. So I was a telemarketer working a basic 9 to 5 in Jamaica. Girl never did I make money. I used to live in Barbican. I used to live right on Barbican Avenue. If you live uptown, you know exactly what me at about. Barbican Avenue is at the foot of Norbrook. That's where I used to live. Now, I used to work a 9 to 5 in Portmore. If I if I don't see me playing with my hair, it's not because I'm vain. It's because I'm trying to fix it while the breeze are, is blowing on me. So like I said, I used to work a 9-to-5 job in Portmore. And I wasn't making any money. I never even did I make money for go back to work the next week. Like, things did, things did add. But one little sugar daddy one me did have him did introduce me to a girl. I liked her and we became friends. At the time, she told me about a specific link that I was interested in. She told me about this guy who wanted girls to come work for him in Barbados because he had a bar and you know, he wanted girls to come work for him point blank period. No, I was young, I was attractive, you know, the old works was an arm candy. So that was perfect for me and I saw it as an opportunity to make some money. In a life you have two smarts. You have book smart and you have street smart. Me never street smart. Me never always street smart. Me did always book smart but street smart me did have to learn when me move out of my parents house. That's why me telling you this is if you're in your 20s it is. It is the right time to move out of your parents' house. Don't wait till you're 35 to move out of your parents' house. But try to gain some sort of independence while you're living with your parents. Okay? Because when you come around, trust me, it's a different ball game. You have to prepare yourself. So anyways, I'm glad somebody did that. I'm glad somebody did move out early. I'm glad somebody did a struggle early. Because no girl and a fool. Girl can go anywhere in the world. And nobody can take girl for fool. So like I said, I never saw street smart. Anyways, the girl introduced me to some guy from Barbados. I'm going to call him A and K. So when she gave me the number, I did call the number. And it so happens that at the time, the guys were in Jamaica. So them, they come link me in my yard. Right? Them pull up on me the day. And we outside did I chop it up the guys them did seem cool as shit it wasn't anything where I felt intimidated or I felt unsafe so I decided to make the move with them like for him to take me back with him so that's what happened the deal was that he was gonna buy me the ticket for come with him and I would work and I would pay him back cuz girl it broke me never have no money for buying a ticket so we made a deal so I was okay with that I would work and I would pay back sir it's cool fine no problem we went and I was in the plane with them at one point I heard him say something in the plane and because I'm so paranoid when he said it I got really you know uneasy but then I was like coaxing myself like chin you're too paranoid just calm down don't take anything personal so that's what i did i tried to stay as humble as i could anyways we reached there everything seemed fine i went to his house he had a house the bar was at the front of the house he lived at the house with his wife and his kids it was his wife just had a baby it wasn't anything to feel uneasy about it was a secure environment 
he put me at the back of the house where it was like a different section i had my own bathroom i had my own kitchen i was comfortable it was like a two-bedroom apartment and i was staying there with another girl that i went there and saw her there she was much older than me and obviously she got become intimidated i am an attractive female and i saw jamaica well not jamaican women women overall get intimidated especially when them feel like say you have to come tamper with them money no woman not like that something there so i'm gonna blame her i'm still friend her up still her name is S. My still friend are up and me and her did come cool. Try not to have no beef with her because we didn't have to work together. First night girl went there, girl made mad money because guess what? New girl in town at the time and used to send my favor Gabriel Union. Me? Me don't favor no Gabriel Union. Everybody wanna see what Chinky I wanna say favor each other. First them say my favor me along, yeah. Them say my favor me along, then them say my favor Gabriel Union. Me? I threw me at them chinky. Me did make them all up at the night there. Eh? Um, the girl, no, she was more exotic than me. I wasn't gonna do what she did. Did my job, serve drinks, flirt, and that was it. Anyway, girl, I make her money. Not telling a lie. I'm put on little. I'm like that little something here when I'm saying come with me. It's cute though. <laughs> now put it on, yeah. <laughs> Girl, girl, I make her money and things. A girl never even anything extreme. Forget her little one and her two tip them. You see me and I was comfortable. So what was happening now? What was happening now is that me start shop. Can me frighten? Me? Me love shop. <laughs> me get it from my mother. My love shop. And words, let me tell you something. I never always had nice things. Me never always have nice things. So me love nice things. Now that me can afford it. Yeah, I buy myself nice things. So girl did a shop. That shop for me, but that shop for my girlfriend who we did live with. Girl did a shop, girl. Yeah, girl did come out and girl and make money and every day girl gone in the town a Barbados gone shop. So anyways now, long story short, let me get into the meat and the matter now. This is the first part of the story. Everything was okay. This is the second part of the story now. So you remember the girl from the beginning of the story that she introduced she was the one who introduced me to the guy then. So, remember about she, we're going to call her, we're going to call her uh, N, right? So now N come back and hit me up and she say, yo, what go on over there? I'm going to tell her, I'm going to say, money I make, come money did I make, me no know about nobody else, <laughs> but me, me did I make money, so I'm going to say, yo, girl, money I make. So she said that she wanted to come now, because through me go, I'm going to say, money I make, she said that she want to come. I said, alright, no problem, I'm going to link up the guy because I really didn't want you to come because, you know, me never really know the ropes like that and it would have been good for she come, come show me the ropes. So I was like, okay, cool, I'm going to ask the guy for buy the ticket. Two time, them sent for her and them sent her back to Jamaica. Two time, them sent for her, she come over there and them sent her go back to Jamaica. I don't know why, but that's what happened the third time. Them said I'm going to go to Jamaica for her. So the guy ended up pick a flight to Jamaica and bring her back with him. And that's how she came. When she come now and thing, at the time, me did fool. Like I said, I did a shop till my drop. All of my bags, them did just line out in the room where me did a stay. And she was going to board with me. When she come, she see my bags them in the room and her friend did come with her too. I guess one of our co-workers them did come with her as well. So they were like, oh, why you not buy a suitcase? Me I said, I don't ready for buy my suitcase yet. When me I go home, then me can see what I have. Forget the suitcase for pack them in. Which me I eat at, me should have been buy a suitcase and I pack my stuff stuff them in there with a lot. But like me say, girl naive, girl don't know nothing. Good eh, must say my daddy and thing and I go and work and she come and when she come she said too slow for her because I'm not telling a lie. You see, every time ever since she come everything just changed. Now what's happening is that she realized that me and the other girl was cool and then me and she a friend, so it's like it creates some sort of tension with me and the other girl now because the girl felt like you know she don't know nobody and it's like me I go go to my friend and you know it, it, it just a little jealousy was in the mix I don't know where well I know where it came from it came from my friend come now so 
you know me and her are not cool again so anyways the girl did end up move up go over another side where the man did a bill when my friend come like me tell you say everything just got a wire because she come with fairly little bossy mentality so she the first incident what happened to me me not talk about what happened to nobody else the first incident what happened to me when me should have been a watch myself me a me a pay back the man for the ticket and me did a game wife some money for save for me when my friend come my friend said to me say don't make nobody speak much money you make or much money you save so take your money from the woman i went ahead and i took the money from the lady and then me did like end up pay them every week for the ticket so i did almost finish paying him for the ticket so I take my money from the lady now and thing I remember one night we saw where I go go buy ice cream. So there was a bag that I had a Victoria's Secret bag that a guy did bring for me. When I did a date, he did always when I come from America he used to always bring my Victoria's Secret stuff and he brought me a little pouch. So in that little pouch I had all my costume jewelry. I used to love costume jewelry, so I had a bag with costume jewelry. In that bag is where I used to put like my money and stuff. Me never know say people are pre me. The night me go away with her, me remember she said to me, say, yo, she got double back, go inside and come back. Yes, yeah, so one time me come back off the road, my money was gone. My money gone, my money missing. That was the first incident what happened to me while I was there. M money missing. All along me I saved my money with the lady, you know, not like that never happened. Until me take the money from the lady, my money just gone missing. Me no know who teeth my money. Me still a go on, bob and weave and I do my thing. Cause, like me say, me naive. Me even not pre nobody to that. The money missing so what? You know, me make more. Because the money was easy for me to make. To be honest, the money didn't easy for me to make. <laughs> so, me say, no, uh, fuck it. I think I lost like $450. And at the time in Barbados, it was two for one. Two US for a dollar. So, only just do the math. The money did really strong. So when things start getting slow, she decides how she wanted to go out, go look a new job because things started getting slow. And we did owe the man for the ticket. And we went to the man with the argument. He was so cool about it. He was like, yeah, man, okay, cool, no problem. But that was too cool. You get me? That was too cool. Because all of a sudden, I don't know. Things just just get side sideways. Everything just I move sideways like crap. Right here. Now we went and we got other jobs in the city of Barbados and we've been working there. I remember one night in particular we was gonna go to work and the person who was supposed to pick us up him never come. We decide so we are going to take the bus. When we go for go take the bus, the bus pass. And we are say, yo, it's a sign. Let's stay home. But we decide say, yo, I have to go to work because that was a fast night. Right in. We end up getting a ride for go in the town and we end up at work. You see, in a life, you see, in a life, we hear people say things about instincts. Instincts is real. And sometimes, what I got to try to save you, I had now learn. <laughs> so, you know what? You have to learn the hard way. What a what a what a nice. Things happen in your life you learn the hard way. So I remember now the night now we ended up at work. Well we ended up at work and thing and daddy girl daddy and I make our money and thing and come back home. Yes when we open the door. It's when my friend goes and lift up the fucking curtain. Even my dirty underwear was gone. Everything that I owned was gone. I was left in the, the clothes on my back. My start throw up instantly. You ever get a shock before? I was in shock. My start vomit. That's how shock I was. My start vomit instantly. My money, all of the stuff that I brought there, my jewelry, my stuff that I bought while I was there, my stuff that I brought there, every fucking thing. Them teeth and gone. My friend, same thing, them clean out she. The only thing she did live with is her clothes them on the line because we didn't end up wash. So she did end up have our clothes them on the line. Everything gone, my love. Everything. Mm -hmm. That happened to me. Them clean we out, good and proper. Every single thing gone. We know like an idiot, but we are called police and I call the man who own the place. Him no must know what happened in take place in a film or set them set it up. 
Anyways, long story short, my name not go into it. It was just wickedness. End up calling police that was just unnecessary. We ended up moving out and we went to stay with one of our co-workers them. You see the thing is this, like I say in our life, you have to have two smarts, three smarts and book smarts. While I was staying there, I don't know if they were trying to set me up because while I was staying with the girl, I remember I just went to get my extension on my passport, like to stay longer. Because if my time was going to be up in the country, I had to go and renew my stamp to stay longer if I intended on staying longer, which I did because I had to make back some money to even buy back some of the stuff them when I lose, do So, I decided I'm not go home yet. I'm going to just try to extend my stay. So, when I, when I went to extend my stay, they did end up holding up my passport and they gave me a piece of thing at the immigration office to hold on to. And I remember everybody left the house and leave me there, you know. Everybody come from work and who gone with them, man. And me alone never have no man. So, me did stay home. When me there, there me boom 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 on the door and me go open the door. No immigration, immigration come. When them come, them come and them search and them do whatever it is that them want to. But me remember one day, you know, after we did leave them on the house, me remember him pass in the van one day and he saw me because I was at the store. So him passed around the area and he saw me. In a Barbados, it seemed like everybody know everybody because the country is so small. So I don't know if he was the one because he never knew what house I was staying at unless he knows somebody in the area where they did watch me or I don't know who did it. Somebody set it up and then you had to know that I was there. So because everybody else gone except me. This is why I may have become suspicious now. When me, when them come and them start search, I say listen, I do an extension, you know, I'm show them my paper. Them end up have left me at the yard. So when me call my friend now, she run, come back, glad like, Jesus Christ, blah, 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 we can't stay here. Because she did go with fear, man. That's why I say everything just seems fishy, like people was trying to set me up. And all along, it's like I veiled it over my eye, but now it's like me I realize certain things. We ended up go stay with the man who she did, did uh, sleep with. The man never liked me because... <laughs> Me and that friend that we were so close, people thought that we were in a relationship. So the man never liked me because he thinks that me and I already did, right? He used to do some perverted things. Me as the type of person, my mouth not have no filter. I saw me stay from ever since. So he never liked me. So I remember me and I already had a house in my said mosquito used to bite me up in my skin. Used to full a mosquito spot because the man did a work on the roof. So he never have no roof and a big mosquito used to bite way up over them with semi skin did full a mosquito bite. So long story short, we did dead air, we did a live, we fuck around the daytime, we drink, we eat, we smoke, and at night time we gotta work and shit like that. No <laughs> One night something traumatic did happen. We had a coat at a place where we did our work. Our man come in our alley and she did it. I entertained the little dirty man. Them time the me and I did kind of at odds, so we never really attack. She got in the alley and entertained the little dirty man. Now the man tried to feel her up in the alley. Rasclad. She has swing off of the man now and the man see me going on my back and me always used to have my mace. So me going on my back for my mace. You know, see the man. I don't know where the man find big stone for the man see some blood clad big stone half a way away for dash out of like we were in like a lane because that's where the bar was that we were working with that for dash out of the lane the man fling some stone half away me say I run me say some crosses take me a Barbados I never forget it you know I wish me and I did cool for the tour we sit down and tell the story me and I are not cool right now but me I tell you say some crosses take away. You know that they say that when I tell them what they put over them over me. We say we have to run the man fling some blow or big stone off away that night. Anyway, we go back home now and think she start bad. I don't know. I think she was frightened or something. She start bad. Me never did a bad. Me never. <laughs> me don't know why. Me never did friend, but she's not bad. And anyway, she did it. And she calm down and we'll go home and think. But what happened was that the man, I guess the man did tired of me because the man never liked me because 
I guess what him, him the one get him away with the girl and me was a cock blocker. Me never tell her a lie. Me was a big cock blocker. So he never liked me. So the man decided to say, it looked like the man helped to set way up to. So I remember we did go, go get way, way, um, go pay for way extension. And we passed for it. And we had the passport there for a really long time and the man the pan Only now go phone a passport, only now go phone a passport. I mean I wonder why him constantly I say that. Go on the passport office, the immigration office. I was sat there waiting on the passports. I realized that everybody will come in at the office and come out left way. I just the two hours still them my friend 30 minutes and I said, Chin. I bet I will go on, you know, because it will take too long. I said to her, I said, no man, make who wait. <laughs> We sit down there for hours till Miss One Woman come and she call my name and she comes so I said we'll come with her. So we like an idiot gone with her. We realize that the woman I carry in at the office. When the woman I carry in at the office, not the back of the office, the woman carry in a one van. Go put way. In a one van go put way. Now when the woman carry in a mess, what is this? Carry go all the way at the airport in a one cell go lock we up. You hear me tell you? Them listen. I just want to understand the story. Here why I say we're not evil. When I talk about Jamaica corrupt, corruption is everywhere. Because look at it. I don't want to country I sell drugs. I don't want to country I do nothing illegal. I did things by the book. I went and I got an extension in my passport. That for sure, I said nobody don't want to run away in a little bit of country Barbados. Zane, I did things legally. Me and my friend, we both did things legally. And this is the outcome that came at us, right? I don't know if it says that on the with the extension, we could have grabbed with stuff and we could have leave on the country, right? On the never do it like that. The people them take away and carry we in our cell at the airport, go lock up, live in prison. One big blue door, I never forget it, one big blue iron door, one toilet in there, silver toilet, and one single bed did in there. A prison that where you lock me up for sir or miss what to lock me up for but do everything legally by the books them carry we in the cell go put way and pan top of that day a day pass them they give one a phone call for call people them for and for, for family them for them know over there anyways i'm finally give you a phone call me call my father at california when me go in there i intend for the man tell me why i'm there all the man, the thing a man, the man did I do, I make fun of my passport. Passport, they don't worry you. Man, I make fun of my passport, but all my passport all. Why me in here? You can't tell me why me in here. You know, catch me and do anything illegal. You know, catch me and sell drugs. Nothing illegal. But them one way to them country, fine, send me home. But on top of that, the facts don't want to send me home. When I go come ask me for money for pay for ticket, me send me never go pay it to them. Nah, pay it. Me push my money under my wig. Cause me did have on a wig at the time. Under my wig. Me push my money because I never did go get my money. Me said deport me out of one country. Right. Have we only lock up all long, you know, and I want to send one. Me say one day I get money, see, and I start to beat them. Me say, oh, no, let me out. Oh, no, let me out. Me start to pause because I'm kind of claustrophobic. I don't like small spaces. My father been in prison for a really long time, for years. And when he come out, we did have a pigeon cage with pigeons in there and my father let out the pigeons and said no living thing is supposed to be locked inside like a prisoner it's not a good feeling me say oh don't let me out oh don't let me out me I beat down the place you know like I seriously was just spazzing me now that's why you know if I listen to either to me listen to my friend I said to my friend say no so we can sue girl I got tell me say no for sue because nothing now come out of it anyways long story short them eventually let we out, them, them escort we through them airport, put up on plane, send we go back to Jamaica, I never have offices on Jamaica style, so, I say, I never have offices on Jamaica style, so, send we go back to Jamaica, not that my mind, but I never go buy on a dirty ticket for go back to my yard, after me not do nothing, send me go to my yard if I claim to say when I deport somebody from on a dirty country, because on a country, I'm telling you something, I'm not going to say nothing bad about nobody, but on a country though, all that, listen, on Go Barbados, eh? Barbados is one look at that. One look at that when you go down on the plane. One look at that. You can barely even see the that. That I was going over. Me say, me never, me never up if see Jamaica style. So, them say no one. When we end up in Jamaica, I realize that them stop my friend. Them stop her in at the airport. Them never stop me. 
all of the crosses the probably did that follow she and me never know you get me and because me and her a friend and me so fool all of the crosses them was she up because from she come i just be crosses all of the crosses them did that follow she come upon me yeah me did that follow all them different and company they come here and tell you something me not try put on nobody but that situation mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But I got himself did that protect me. I turn to the girl and I say, No, so we can't sue the girl. Say, No, 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 come out. You know what happened? I think uh, uh, it's a year after a girl, Jamaican girl, was going through the same Barbados airport and they did the same thing with her. And the girl sued them. I think them did one do like cavity search or some shit like that. And the girl did end up sue them and win. And I said, Look at that. Because when me did for do, it, it manifests through somebody else because me listen to friend and things that never did come out of it. I had legal, I had a case. I really did have a case because when them lock me up for all know me no know. I'm just take that so and put it behind me like I was doing something wrong. I wasn't doing anything wrong. Maybe she feel like she did not do something wrong, but me never did nothing wrong. So, me did have a case, but anyways, that's my story, and that's why I do not like Barbados. I will never go back in that country when I don't like Jamaicans. I don't know why, what on a beef is with us, but I will never go back into that country. I will never speak anything nice about that country because my experience in that country, the people are conniving, they're thieves, they're, 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 um, criminals and their 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 um legal system is just as corrupt as anywhere else and that's all i'm gonna say about that but yeah i think this video is going on too long and i'm gonna go but that's my experience with being locked up abroad it wasn't a nice thing i remember me telling you something if you're not going in them country stay on the yard because them don't want a body in them country make them stay over there with it because there's nothing there for you to be excited about anyway. Everything wanna look for their Jamaica. Turn on yard. That's my experience with being locked up abroad, and that was the only time I've ever been locked up. I've never. Mm -mm. Them some of their sadness. Some stay far from crosses. That's why men are on a friend. <laughs> I stay by myself in a my little lane. I'm not nobody come tell me about oh me need human companionship. My good wish for my day. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this video. If you like it, thumbs it up. If you don't like it, click off right. It's whatever. But yeah, I'm going to go now because right now my hair on me. So it's a girl chinchilla. And bye. I'll see you in my next one. That's all, folks.